Hi class, this video lesson is also on 5.7. We're going to be going over problems 5, 6, 7, and 8, which are really quite simple once you understand the relationship w between changing things from radical form into rational form, and from rational form back to radical form. So for number 5 through 8, it says write each radical, each radical using rational exponents. So they're, they are in radical form, and we want to change them into rational form, which has a fraction. Um, so as you learned, when we had y raised to the 1 half, that's the same thing as the square root of y, the square root of y raised to the first. So as we go now from here to here, the 1 becomes our numerator, the exponent becomes our numerator, and the index, this number, is the denominator. So you might want to write this down for number 5. The exponent, that is the number in the numerator, when you change into rational form, numerator. And the index, this becomes the number in the denominator. So what is the answer for number 5? It is that same base of y raised to the 2 in the numerator, 3 in the denominator. And that is my answer, y raised to the 2 thirds power. Number 6, 23, when there is no index written, you assume it's the square root. When there's no exponent given, you assume it's the first power. So it is 23 raised to the numerator of 1, denominator of 2. 23 raised to the 1 half power. Number 7, the cubed root of 6, x to the 5th, y to the 7th. This is six, 6 raised to the first power. So there are, I guess, three different terms here. The 6, the x to the 5th, and y to the 7th. So our answer in rational form is 6 raised to the 1 third, x raised to the 5 thirds, y raised to the 7 thirds. The exponents are all in the numerator. That index of 3 is in the denominator. So our answer is 6 raised to the 1 third, x raised to the 5 thirds, y raised to the 7 thirds. You guys pause the video. Try to do number 8 on your own now. So as you tried to do number 8, I'm sure you had 27 raised to the first. So you got 27 raised to the third power, a raised to the two-thirds power, and x raised to the one-third power, because there's an exponent of one right there. If you circle this as your answer, you did a lot of good work here. However, you forgot one thing if you had your answer like this. 27 raised to the one-third. That can be simplified. This is one of those, as you see, with the 27 with the 3 next to it. Hopefully you recognize that 3 cubed is 27. It's one of those numbers that we should kind of keep our eye out for um, as we go through this um, chapter, really. So 3 cubed is 27. So when we say the cubed root of 27, we've got to ask ourselves the question, what number times what number times what number equals 27? Well, 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. So this can be simplified, 27 raised to the 1 third is 3. So 3 a raised to the 2 thirds, x raised to the 1 third. This class is the correct answer. If you had this for your correct answer, you did a very good job. I had you do this by yourself to kind of give you a little bit of a curveball so you can kind of um, recognize that you've got to keep your eye open for these relationships um, that we're going to be seeing here in this chapter.